Blessings, peace. Big up to all of the viewers, the subscribers. You know, we appreciate the continued support. Also, big up every YouTuber, every vlogger, all content creators. To all of the man that out here, I try to do some work. We are trying to build a channel. We build a channel already and I sustain a channel. We know the thing go. Big up to the ones them. With that said, there is something I'm forward here so for your address. In relation to the use of some of my content by my fellow YouTubers in ways that I don't approve of. The title of my videos are Beanie Man Shares His Story Part 1, Part 2 and I uploaded a bonus Part 3 today. Me never have a title of my video Beanie Man Box Down No Man or that Man They Get Box Down or that Woman They Get Box Down So why man I use my work for do that? Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Now, as far as I know, me and every man good, right? Even if a man no good with me, me and a man good. See, me not have no issue with nobody. See, me not have the time to have no issue with nobody. Me just focus on my thing. See, try to balance my channel and balance being a high school educator. That poses so many different challenges. So many sacrifices have to be made, right? And most of the time, me just exhausted. Me just beat. But we still push out the work. We still put in the work. And we still keep doing it. Now, I have recorded and uploaded numerous interviews with various people and up to recently i've never seen anybody really and truly take out an excerpt of those videos social media vloggers or otherwise and post it whether on instagram facebook or youtube now for the past couple of weeks i have been uploading segments of an interview that was done with moses davis beanie man and in that interview many aspects of the entertainer's life his musical journey his story was shared many of his accolades and achievements were listed and spoken about yet me not see nobody take up that and do a video speaking about beanie man's achievement me not see nobody cut out parts of the video that i would deem to be positive and either review it do a video on it or share it with the exception of a few people, I may post the part where he was sharing his favorite Bounty Killer songs. Yeah, and I would have seen where the mother of his child would have taken out a part and posted on her Instagram page. But from the angel part to the spice part to the daddy one part, I see people are take them things eh, and I run with it. And I have an issue with it and I go address it. Now, first and foremost, I don't think that anybody should be using my content in a way that I don't use it. People have been sending me videos uploaded by other YouTubers where they have removed aspects from the video and have done reviews on it and quote unquote have analyzed it for their viewers. I'm not fighting a man, I know the YouTube street big and enough viewers are out there for everybody to benefit as long as you put in the work and upload good content. And I have been seeing videos with titles Beanie Man Box Down X and Beanie Man Box Down Y and then me I see my clip hearing my voice and seeing my visuals in these videos. If I wanted to push that narrative and that agenda, I would have simply removed those clips from the interview and uploaded them on my channel. I interviewed Beanie Man to document his musical legacy, his journey, and yes, there have been some controversial moments along the way. And I deliberately asked as many questions as I could that I know people out there would want answers to. So when people come now and take out these things that are controversial and decide to do videos on them with my face, with my voice, with my work, pushing an agenda, pushing a negative energy, what me not do over here, so I not appreciate it. Then the flip side of that, man reach out to me before you know, and said, teach me can I use X and me as a family. No, because here we go on. Me see the potential issues that me arise and me don't want a negativity around my thing. So just make it stay. Make a man go watch the interview, listen what the artist said in beside how he want to interpret that. But don't take my work and go interpret it for people. Make people interpret it for themselves. You understand? And then now some of the videos that I see, no man even reach out to me and say, yo, teach. Because me then tell a man straight up, say, family, no, me not think of the best idea that you know. No disrespect. The man would have scored how much number ones. The man would have been nominated for the Grammy three times, the man win it one time, the man would have achieved so much. I don't see enough video about the man achievements and positivity, but we are take up things we're negative and I run with. I don't want a man do no video with my audio and my visuals and my work in there, seeing with some little whack title, I promote some negative energy. I don't want that surrounding my thing. I don't deal with that. That is not my thing. I don't sensationalize nothing. I just keep the thing on a level and I keep working. I would have decided to take a particular route and to focus on particular things take my time seeing my growth may not be as astronomical as some people because me just not in a certain things but just keep my thing 
focus, I know where I work towards, I know where I build. I mean, I want to entertain and start thinking twice. If so when teach them, link them about interview them and say, yo, because people are going to take that thing and spin it in a negative way and them something. I mean, I'm really into that. So if me now use my content a particular way, I mean, I say, why well, next man for you use it? And it doesn't really matter who the person is. So I ask him on them. First and foremost, for now, if you have done a video in relation to the Beanie Man interview with my visuals and my audio in it, may I ask you if you pull the video. So if you can't edit it and cut it out, you have to go pull the video. The title of my videos are Beanie Man Shares His Story Part 1, Part 2 and I uploaded a bonus Part 3 today. Me never have a title of my video, Beanie Man Box Down No Man or that Man They Get Box Down or that Woman They Get Box Down. So why man I use my work for do that? So as me say, if you do a video with that in it and me the in the video and my voice in the video and me, and me visuals in the video, me I ask you to remove that from the video and if you can't remove it from the video, pull the video. For the people that may take it out and upload it, on a stop. If you want to watch the interview, you watch the interview. If you don't want to watch the interview, you don't watch the interview. And the next thing is that some of the people when I see I cut out things and I post it. I never see them the man in the comments and none of me premiere them. See, I never see them the man in the comments after the video them premiere. Like, so, come on man. I could be fair about the thing. Don't use my content in a way where me not use it. I don't want a negative energy around my thing. I don't deal with the negative energy. I don't want my name and my channel name and my brand get involved in a negative energy. The artist share him story, I ask him some questions, him answer them, we move on. I never cut out that and post that with no headline where he sensationalize. I don't play that. I not into that. And then I say, no matter who the person is, I reach out to a few man already. I not reach out to nobody else. So if you use excerpts from Beanie Man's interview, to push any particular agenda where me on approve of me and ask you to remove it. I mean, what some people are going to look upon this and say, teach at this and teach at that and teach bad man. You can't say anything what you want to say. It doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is my brand, is my reputation, and my work. Zane, if you're going to use a thing on a positive level, and even so, link me and say, teach, boom. It no matter who you be, you need to link me. Because, peeps, every interview me do, there are two other persons there and they are paid. That's something you're not free, you know. When someone asleep 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, me up and edit interviews, you know. You understand what I say? Repeatedly, you know, like clockwork, you know. Case in point, I am back at work. And yesterday, Zane, which was Monday, I spent bits and pieces of the day and into the night editing Major Mackerel's interview. And after me done edit Major Mackerel's interview, me got cut four and a half hours out of the first interview with Beanie Man where we had some technical challenges and some quality control issues so we decided to reshoot the interview. We cut through four and a half hours to put together one hour and twenty odd minutes out of sound bites from the first interview. Things we never did to mention or elaborate upon in part one and part two. I go to bed 4.30 this morning and I wake up for a 8 o'clock class and I have four classes for the day. See? So when I put in my sacrifice, no man don't know. So you can't just take up the thing and use the thing or you want to use the thing. I will up a sacrifice to make around here, so we're not too, too loud up with things and talk and complain because we're out here to do some work. So, as I say, I know some man good as vex, but you better you vex than my work use in a negative way. I'm good with that. You understand what I say? If you want to pray, I say, yo, teach them at this. I'm good with that. Just don't use my content in a way where I not use it. Don't bring no negative energy around my thing. There are so many positive things in so many interviews that I do so far, and I'm not seeing a man take it up. I interviewed the greatest female singer in a Jamaica history, Marcia Griffiths. I don't see no man take out nothing out of that. We interviewed Nadine Sutherland. We don't see no man take nothing out of that. We interviewed the great Tiger. We don't see no man take nothing out of that. Junior Cat. We don't see no man take nothing. Look here. The negativity. The negative energy, the controversy, don't use my work, push that. I don't depend on that. And it no matter who the guy. If you use it, do a video, remove the video. If you have plan to do it, don't do it. And this is not just the Beanie Man thing. It is anything related to my work. I take pride in my thing. I disassociate myself from certain energy and certain vibes. It no matter how many views I get off of certain things, I not trouble it. I not trouble it. I leave it alone. So I don't want a man bring my thing on the level there. You understand what I say? So do the right thing. I just saw the thing set. As I say, I am every man good. So if no man no good with me, I'm good with that. I'm out. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. 
Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!